Que pasa, everybody? It's me, Alex, J.S. Santi, back again with another video. This is more just an audio video. You're not going to see me at all in this video, but maybe that's for another time. But what I do want to talk about is Toy Fair 2014. Yes, I'm pretty late on the game and talking about this. It's already been over a week, but I still have opinions on these certain figures. And I want to talk about them, um, particularly with the Transformers line and... More particularly, the generation part, because the simplified one-step changers, two-step changers, bumping, whatever, all those things, they don't really interest me. So I'm just going to be first talking about the classic generation figures, and then moving on to the movie generation figures. Alright? So, what I'm going to be first taking a look at are the legend class figures. We have two that were shown, and we have our... Acid Storm and Gear. So let's take a look at those two now. All right, let's start with Acid Storm. Acid Storm. It's just a straight-up repaint of the Starscream figure we've seen already, we've gotten already. Um, but deco-wise, it looks nice. It looks like Acid Storm. I just find it more interesting that Hasbro is focusing on Acid Storm instead of the other Rainmakers. But hey, what can this really? They decide what they want to make. And then we have the little Waspinator repaint. That's Venom. Uh, it's purple and green. There you go. Uh, it's okay. Um, there's really nothing else I can say. It's it's just another Starscream repaint. On the next one, which is Gears, it's a repaint of the Swerve that hasn't been officially released yet, but will be released down the line with a new head sculpt. I gotta say, the head sculpt itself looks a lot like Brawn, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a Brawn figure out of this. But it just feels like they use they went with this repaint first before they had Brawn released. Well, what do you know? Um, it's nice in both vehicle mode and robot mode. Hey, there's really nothing else to say. They both look nice. Both the the robot itself and his little minicon, which is Eclipse. Again, nice silver. I think that's silver. It could be blue. I'm going to go with like a, probably a blue color. And yeah, it's really nothing else. Nothing spectacular. But overall, with these two figures, though they're nice, I don't see myself picking these these two up. It's just not my not my interest really. So, hey, if you want to get them, go ahead. For me personally, they look nice, but I don't have a need for these two figures. All right, so we are looking at the deluxe class now. We have three figures here. We have Jaxus, Nightbeat, and Windblade, which is the fan voted figure. So let's take a look at these three. Alright, so here we have first is Jaxus in his vehicle mode. Now this is a redeco of the Armada Starscream figure that we've had with some new tools and new molded stuff. He's got a new pair of wings, he's got a pair of blasters in vehicle mode, and overall vehicle mode, very nice. It's a definitely nice looking figure. And going on to the robot mode itself, nice head sculpt, very, very nice. And I was interested to see why they went with the Starscream mode. But then after looking at some pictures of Jaxus, you know, the chest looks similar to how he looks. You know, they got the deco pretty close to how or what parts are gray, what parts are orange. So it's overall very nice. Kind of wish they went with the red painted head because his head's mostly red and his face is yellow. This is kind of not doing that. But regardless, it's very nice overall, both vehicle mode and robot mode. All right, with... Nightbeat here in vehicle mode, it's using, excuse me, it is using the Bumblebee, Generations Bumblebee figure, but I believe this is the Goldfire repaint, I don't, I don't know, people are saying it's Goldfire, but it's just basically using the Bumblebee figure. Vehicle mode, very nice, like the blue, 
like the yellow paint stripe on the bottom and the nice little red design on the on the side very nice very nice indeed and robot mode looks pretty cool I really like the head sculpt and overall paint wise it looks like Nightbeat so overall very very nice and on to Windblade both vehicle mode okay with the vehicle mode I would say out of the two modes this is the weakest only in terms of the legs are obviously on the back of the jet and it kind of just sticks out but otherwise besides that it's very nice I do like the VTOL wings it's very cool and robot mode looks pretty pretty cool I like the sword I like the head sculpt design wise looks very very nice looking so it's really cool that we get a nice robot to go with this jet and overall with Windblade, I will definitely be picking her up with Nightbeat and Jahaxis, however, I might pick them up. These are definitely maybes. I'll have to see them in person and, you know, think about it. But they're not on a I'm not going to buy list. They will be we'll wait and see. I'll just have to find a way to fit these two into my current collection. But Wing, Windblade, of course, I'm going to put her in my collection. It's the fan first fan voted figure, of course, and really excited for her to, you know, more exp um, be more exposed in the comics. So can't wait for that. All right, next up we have Voyager class. We have two figures. One is Skybite, and the other one is Roadbuster. Let's check them out. Alright, I gotta say, I am really liking Skybite Shark Mode. It's very nice. I like the fact that it's given, instead of a straight, um, static-looking shark, it's got more of a curve to it. Gives it more character, I believe, and I just like the detail, mixtures of the robot parts with the organic parts. O overall, very nice Shark Mode. Robot Mode, hey, it's Skybite. It's awesome. Hey, there's really nothing else that I can say. I like the color scheme, the color palette on him, and design-wise, he's very neat. I love the head sculpt, got the nice little razor sharp teeth, awesome, very cool. And now with Roadbuster here, man, I like this guy, both in vehicle mode. Vehicle mode, a little squash looking truck, but it's it looks like it could take some damage, it's got some nice guns, and robot mode, very nice, very nice indeed, I love the color scheme. It's just a crazy color scheme. I just love it. I do wish it was a bit more bulkier because it's Robuster. He's got to be, he's like a powerhouse in him of, of himself. But overall, it's still very nice. And love the head sculpt. Both of these figures are really, really cool. And I'm definitely going to be picking them up. Skybite, I have a few. I have, I'm starting the whole buying the new Beast, Beast, Beast type characters. So I'm definitely going to be picking him up. And Robuster, he's a member of the records. I have a record collection. Of course, he's going to be added to my collection. So I can't wait for those two to come out. All right, and now leader class. This is actually the first fi first time we've had a leader class figure in the Generations line. So it's pretty exciting. And how they're going to start this off? Well, we're going to start with Jetfire. And it's, let's take a look at this bad boy. All right, let's go on to the jet mode. Jet mode, the clean version, very nice. They are going with the whole Macross-looking jet, and it just looks really cool. It's very reminiscent of, you know, his G1 toy. It's got this a little bit of the same color scheme, kind of paint scheme, design-wise. Very nice, and then you got his super jet mode, as I'm calling it, with the big old red backpack thrusters. It's nice, though they are making it the vac metal type of thing. I'm a little bit of eh on that, but... Overall, it still looks nice. There's no getting around to the, about that. It's jet mode. Overall, it looks nice. Robot mode, very nice looking. Really liking it. It's got he's got two different heads, which is cool. He's got his more G1 cartoon head, and then he's got the more G1 toy head, more Robotechy, if you want to say it. Um, they are cheating quite a bit in terms of how the nose cone becomes the chest. That's kind of a fake chest. A lot of people are not too happy about that, but hey, if it it turns out into a nice v robot mode, I'm not going to start complaining about it. So overall, both it's regular robot mode and it's super robot mode. It looks very nice. 
just kind of wish that obviously with the whole super robot mode the red piece the red backpack won't fold over and you know start shooting like it's um regular voyager class figure but hey it's still very nice overall but will i get him again it's that list of i have to wait and see i have to see him and it will i will have to find a way to how will he fit into my current collection so that in itself again it's a wait and see but it's definitely a very nice toy overall 